Okay, um, now in terms of operations, um, the operations of the Enterprise, in, in a sense, this is uh, what we're talking about here, um, has to do with verifying that the, the Enterprise itself is working properly. Um, now, is this limited to um, certain types of businesses? But they are uh, probably the majority of businesses. And that is um, businesses that engage in a great many transactions. Uh, anybody who is doing sales, uh, many, many sales of you know, smaller items. If you sell you know, one three million dollar machine every two years. No, this is this is not you. Because what we're talking about is um, examination of transactions. Um, so, do we have? You know, look at the transactions and see. Do we have a transaction that violates some policy um, in in some way? And I mean, this this can be a variety of of policies, from the fact that we are supposed to charge somebody money, and what you know, a a number that is supposed to come up comes up with letters rather than numbers. Um, you know, obviously, uh, you, you've got some violation, some something has gone wrong somewhere. Um, but, you know, sometimes it's a, uh, a violation, perhaps, of a security policy that a uh, certain output should not have been sent to a, an individual who is not authorized to have that information. Uh, there's, there's a variety, quite a variety, of, you know, different types of violations. But, you know, have... Um, some means of catching those violations and uh, analyze them. Um, and and I, I would say that this uh, relates particularly to customer service. An awful lot of customer service these days is very bad because, you know, they will uh, try and apologize, they will try and give you money. Uh, you know, nobody tries to figure out, hey, you know, what has happened? This this shouldn't have happened. The customer shouldn't have been upset. Is this because we oversold? Is this is because we are not advertising what we are selling correctly? Um, is this uh, because somebody has made a mistake and hasn't delivered what we promised? You know, um, find out what the problem actually is rather than just, you know, they're there, now, now. Uh, we'll make it all right. You know, that's that's not going to do anything. That's probably going to lose you a customer. And it's going to lose you more customers because you're not going to find out what went wrong that made somebody unhappy. So, you know, there's all kinds of violations. Do the analysis. Uh, so, different types of violations, as I say, you know. Um, where are they occurring? Is this um, in, in processing? Is this in input? Is this, you know... As I say, you know, there's all kinds of different things uh, that you need to find. So look for the patterns, uh, looking for what the uh, the problem is, and of course, in terms of security, specifically, we are looking for any indications that an intrusion is happening here, that that there is some kind of attack going on. So um, we've, we've got, you know, things that we need to address in that regard. Um, I, again, you know, we're, we're already doing this um, with things like uh, profile-based anomaly detection. Um, uh, in in term, you know, we talked about it in uh, uh, malware analysis, um, you know, is this behavior that you do not expect from this particular type of program? Is this um, huh, um, related to uh, you know our, our network anomalies uh, that we're looking at? So you know 
anomalies, looking at, at the anomalies, um, and seeing if, if there is a profile which can give us an indication of, you know, what it is that is happening and is this a deliberate attack. Uh, now, all kinds of things can happen. And so, um, you know, we're, uh, we're dealing with logs, we're dealing with, uh, you know, going back to the logs or having something report to us the logs um, or alerts from the logs. And, well, even when you're doing that, um, you know, the simplest uh, limitation that these programs are doing, rather than just giving you a dump of all the data, is a clipping level. Um, you know, how many times can this go on? You know, it, it may be an error. Uh, it, it may just be normal errors. Errors in communications, bits being flipped, whatever. It happens. If it, you know, well... Uh, recently found out that this is uh, actually a quote from Ian Fleming that uh, once is happenstance twice is coincidence three times is enemy action and so you know the clipping levels how many times before we have to say wait a minute this may be enemy action we need to know uh, and, and you know report it to us you know, at this level, or or when the transaction is big enough, or when, the, you know, whatever it may be. The clipping levels can, uh, you know, you have to have a metric for the clipping levels. But, um, you know, if it is something you can measure, um, you know, don't tell me, don't bother me until it gets big enough for my attention. Uh, now, this is lossy compression. You are losing some information. And every once in a while, you should go back and take a look at everything, as we talked about in terms of uh, network analysis, uh, and, you know, just make sure that the clipping stuff, you know, stuff that we've clipped out um, isn't actually important. Uh, so we need to, we need to make sure of that. Anyways, um, input and output controls. Uh, yeah, we've talked again uh, before in application security about input controls. You know, make sure that we have input controls. Are people doing the right things? Are, are you know, entry people entering uh, accounts that they shouldn't be dealing with? Um, uh, are they uh, submitting numbers that are too big? Um, whatever uh there's you know a number of things there uh are they putting uh alphabetic characters into phone numbers or into uh you know currency fields um so we need to look at that we need to look at output controls too as as i said with regard to viruses don't just you know scan for viruses ingress coming in but do egress scanning what's going out that's an indication of what you're doing so the output we need to look at the output um input you know uh what's count the data um what has been edited what has been entered um output um look at your control totals um and uh, look at the destinations you know where is the output going is the output going to somebody who um, should not be having it so you know all of these types of things as i say has to do with transactions but transactions are a major major part of business